Finally today, the $800,000 grant from the EPA to OSU researchers looking at a new technology aiming to decrease the cost of cattle production while improving land and natural resource management. So the, the technology that we're talking about today is virtual fencing and that's it's a pretty new concept in cattle production. Um, it's not a new concept in general. A lot of people are very familiar with uh, pet containment systems that have been developed. But where systems for your dog use buried lines, these collars communicate wirelessly to a base station. Producers use a computer or cell phone to designate where cattle can or cannot graze. The great thing about the virtual fence collars for cattle is that they're, they're totally based on GPS, so there's nothing in the pasture. We don't have to, there's no wires buried in the ground. There's nothing, there's nothing you have to put in the physical infrastructure of the pasture. It all works off of GPS. It's enabled us to pull out miles of electric fence. A startup company called Vince provided the system, and it promises to do more than just reduce fencing costs. Producers can easily manage exactly where cattle graze, improving the quality of their grazing lands. The systems can also address animal welfare. If an animal doesn't move for a period of time like we expect that it should normally, we can get an alert from the system and go check that animal. We know exactly where it is, and so we can quickly go check on that animal, make sure everything's okay. And that was very useful this spring. We had them on when uh, the cows were calving, uh, which made tracking the cows at calving uh, much easier. We, we had them in a, a native pasture with a lot of brush, so it, it was a real time saver. You could actually go to that individual cow that had separated herself from the herd, check on her status, if she was in difficulty, if she had had the calf, uh, and uh, go on about your business. Virtual fencing may also help with securing cattle from theft or even keeping them away from noxious weeds. Another aspect, the research is looking at improving watersheds. One of the things we're interested in uh, from the water center perspective is the uh, benefits of virtual fencing to water quality. A major barrier of adoption of improved grazing management practices has been the implementation of permanent fencing. And so we feel like virtual fencing will help overcome that and can be utilized for implementing riparian protection as well as uh, rotational grazing systems and, and other grazing systems that can improve water quality. I think it could be an, uh, a, a way that we can improve long-term sustainability of grazing lands in Oklahoma and across the world. And uh, we're real excited to be on the forefront of, of investigating this new technology.